first function of our bus. Yeah, it did something for us. We made coffee from start to finish in yeah. our bus. We need to drill a hole for our. Uh, we got a drill hole for the the hose for the propane. All right, we're going outside, ready, everybody, to burn up in Hades. Oh wait a minute! Oh my God! I better look at this. <laughs> this is like a really important drill. I have to like know absolutely for sure. This is kind of a tough one. Where do you need it to be? Well, I would like to say I was going to hit this area right here, but Way that's back there? probably not going to happen. So I put that. the little nipple on there. So, and I haven't taped them yet, but that's essentially where we're working on right there. Okay, so we have to come from there and make a hole in the floor. Yep. So if I come this way, about six inches and back maybe a half inch one inch it'll come up right there six inches over let's see if we can do that or not six inches and one inch in puts it almost directly centered in there all right time to drill it's gonna be a very messy 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 drill yeah that's exactly where I want to go, right there. Well, this corner drill bit sucks. Do you need another one? This one will just be a pilot. I'm going to drill this right now. Because this will drill through this. See? Ah, hot metal on me. Oh, do you need something else? I need a new bus. <laughs> want a new bus. <laughs> when it's all done. <laughs> OMG. Oh, what just happened right there? It bent? It did something really, really strange. Take it. Where's the other drill bit go? I don't understand how that's supposed to work. That doesn't make sense at all. I just bent this drill bit too. Oh, I don't know. Like, I'm just gonna have to keep drilling until I get through this. Oh my god, this is such a horrible thing. I'm getting through. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It's just a pain in the butt. But it is. I'm melting out here in the sun. You're right, we do live in Hades. Hadesona. Okay, we're in. I'm gonna go look on the inside. Ooh. There you are. Did it pop out? Yep. It's exactly where you said you wanted it. Yeah, there's just some splinters of wood I'm pulling off real quick. So it's out. Oh yeah, it's good. You're done. So I really wish I hadn't put in this. Oh, is it completely nailed in? Well, not for long. Luckily it's only like three or four nails holding it, I think. Are you me. sure that's not gonna break it? Yes. What I need to do is turn this car around. That's from an old country song. Uh -huh. That's Kenny Chesney. What I need to do, turn this car around. Drive as fast as I can till I see the lights of my hometown and run to her. <laughs> okay, what am I doing again? Drilling holes. I need to go outside, I think, and 
Well, I'll do a good couple things. Hopefully, this is a quarter inch drill bit right here. All right, I need that screwdriver again. I probably should. <laughs> Now I need another battery. Of course. Mm. Has there ever been a time we did a job and didn't have a battery die? Like right in a crucial moment? Yeah, never. There it is. And that's it. We're through. It's a lot thicker than the white stuff. This stuff feels like electrical tape. It's so thick. I guess we could do a little more. Stretch it on there real good. Okay, so we're coming in right here to the top of our of our uh, ah, of the regulator right here. This is the pressure regulator, and we're just putting this little dude right there. It's so cute. I don't know how many times I gotta go around and around and around with this one. I just know that the Teflon stopped moving a long time ago. Yeah, see, it's not moving. I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, we'll find out when we turn it all on. If it leaks, I'll just do it again. No big deal. Oh, the Teflon tape started moving again. Hmm. <laughs> okay, there. That's good enough. Okay. The ants are falling off. <laughs> They're all like different sizes. No kidding, huh? So weird. Okay, all the threads are the same. I'm actually gonna need another crescent wrench. Do we have a big one? Mike making manifolds again. Manifold Mike. I'm sure someone's gonna be pissed about this. Be like, this isn't a code. There. See, look, that's like a little bit bigger. It's longer, same size. I don't know. One of these things over here is not like the other for sure, though. <laughs> I'm taking a test here. This is the one. This is a compression style or flare style fitting that'll go over a flare connection and create a seal without the flare being there. Hopefully. And welcome to our propane system. So now our first connection is due. I gotta come in to this from back here like that. And then I gotta push it on here at this crazy angle over a fitting that's too big. We gotta make it work. It's on. Got it? Yeah. I think so. Unless I'm just blind. That's well, gone on. It's pretty far. It's just not like all the, all the way on. Oh, this is gonna be fun too. All right, impossible. Just like I like it. There. Okay, that one's in. I'll have to figure out how to mount this to something around here. Maybe. But now I have to hook two hoses into that and that. One of which is going to the, the things. That's right, the things. All the things? All the things. I know you're trying your best to hold on to what you believe in, what makes you strong. Mirrors are lying and pictures can be fake. I know you better than anyone else. Got this feeling lately that you are drowning, maybe. But all the world is crazy, they don't know a thing. One love, that's all you need to be everything you want to be. All the love you'll ever need is waiting.
just learn to save weight You're truly special No matter what they say When life is cruel That's every night to me I think of you Is that so hard to see? Got this feeling lately That you are drowning We gotta sharp that one section, but that's it. That was pretty quick. So now what we need to do is test it and we gotta put propane on it. I love our system here. Me too. Nothing is cool. Right I there. think this is so much smarter than having a tank that's built in because we always have the option of switching them out like this. Yeah, I think so. And it's green. Now this tank is good. All right. So this is the controller for the hot water heater. Inline water heater. So let's turn on the hot water and see what actually happens here. It's actually. Did you have to light something on it? It automatically does. That's its whole job. Oh. How does it know when to light itself? Flow. Oh. When water comes through? Put your hand in here. Holy smoke. It only took like two seconds yeah. to get that. That's so cool. It works good. Yeah. I smell propane bad. There we go. Oh, we'll find it. This is where I smell it, right? Okay. Yeah, because I don't smell it by, by the stove right here. I'm going to have to wrench it. We need to turn off the propane. Okay. So we don't leak the explosive amount. Of yeah. Oil. I'm going to try to tighten this one more time. And if that doesn't work, then we're going to Teflon on it. Only for the sake of the fact that um, fixing this is going to kind of suck. Taking it apart, I mean. I think I need like a three quarter inch or five eighths inch. Ranch. Let me go get some wrenches here. Okay. It's on now. Let's see how long. People always say we need to do some kind of recirculation Here, close system. the sink and you'll see how much water fills the sink and you'll know how much. This is how much water we'll waste waiting for hot water. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, no. There, it just lit. I just heard it light. Hot water. Okay. That's it. So. Wow, that's not very much wasted maybe water. Maybe three cups. That might be a cup, cup and a half. Two cups, maybe. Maybe two at most. There was only one reference to this, and I thought it was really, really, really crucial to the use of the shower. And what that was was, um, they said that you needed to relearn the way you took a shower. So the way you would take a shower in the house is you go in, you turn on the hot water until it's burning your hand. Then you add cold water until you get the desired, uh, the temperature. desired temperature. But in, with a on-demand water heater, you can choose the temperature right here. So what people were doing is instead they just turned the water on all the way hot and then they adjust the temperature here to the desired temperature that they would like to take a shower at, and each person will have their own known temperature. Isn't that the recommended way to use this? Is to no, just there was no recommended way. Oh. So, but the reason they do it that way is it's it's uh, the sinister aspect of the on-demand water heater when you're in an RV is that the amount of water pressure and the amount of water flow you have in your house is always going to be a RV pump, and so what will happen is. If you turn on the hot water first until you get what you like, and then you turn on the cold water, you may reduce the, the flow rate enough in your hot water heater to cut the water heater off. And now it's just going to blow cold water at you all day. So you want to just turn it on all the way hot and adjust to, to the temperature that you like taking a shower at. 
they say, the, the video I watched, I remember the guy said, oh, we just set ours to 115 and we take showers at 115. And so they just turn it on the hot water all the way and take a shower. So that's, uh, that's what we learned from And this. that's really good for taking Navy showers too, because if you want to turn off the water to soap up, turn it back on to rinse, it's still exactly at the same temperature. Right, and that's why we put the, uh, the insulation on the pipes in this wall so that when we're taking a Navy shower, it, th that water stays roughly the, exactly the same temperature or loses a you know, partial degree um, while we're soaping up or cooling off or whatever. So it's kind of cool. But I'm super stoked because it's working and uh, we're getting hot water, we're, the stove works. Like that's awesome. I am, I can't be happier right now. <laughs> I just, all I wanted to do today was get that hooked up and it went so smooth. Everything hooked up just right. Everything's like, functional. Right off the bat. thoughts on plumbing the propane into the bus did it meet or exceed your expectations like was it more or less difficult what are your parting thoughts on propane actually propane went so smoothly that I honestly didn't think we'd have enough um, video to put this video out like it, it just every other thing we do on the bus just takes way longer not the propane. The propane just came in way under my expectations and I dreaded it for months. So I'm pretty actually, I'm really happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> I would probably say the same thing that you would have said like, oh my gosh, it's a complete and total mystery. It seems like scary having propane in your moving bus or whatever. But then I think like the electrical and all that is scary too. Mm. But after watching you do the propane lines, I feel like that is literally something I could do. Like just after watching you do it, I could do it myself alone it so easy. with no one even supervising mm. me. Like it was, it seemed that easy. Whereas electrical, even though I watched you do the electrical, I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that at all. Propane, easy right. peasy, lemon squeezy. Totally. The GoPro was turning <laughs> off. Um, some parting thoughts so we got a lot of comments on the last video regarding our reverse osmosis filter and um, uh, the majority of the comments was like just put it right back in the uh, fresh water tank and that's a realistic <laughs> idea however um, here's the thing it seems we, like a good idea at the time we made a we made a hundred and seventy nine dollar error on our on our reverse osmosis system and yeah, I could plumb it back to the fresh water tank. The problem is I would have to tear out a lot of what I did, including my shower, to get it there uh, in, a, in a downhill fashion, you know, the right way. Um, secondly, 
talking to somebody else who has a uh, reverse osmosis system in their bus, um, when they were running uh, boondocking, they found that the their pump was burning out every 30 days, and luckily it was burning out under that 30-day warranty, and they were able right. to replace it a couple times. <laughs> And so the, now they don't run it off of their pump because when we did it, the pump was just turning on and on, on and off, 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 super a lot of times just to put the water in the tank. So I get where they're coming from. So instead of doing that, we just took the reverse osmosis part out. It's probably, it's filtering about as good as a Brita filter, one of those little pitchers. Totally okay with that. So, and down the line, and you'll probably see it in some video, I'm actually putting in a uh, antimicrobial UV uh, filter um, and you'll see that it'll be really cool and you'll see how we did it we came up with a great way of doing that so that's what we're gonna do fret not this was the first function of our bus yeah it did something for us we made coffee from start to finish in yeah. our bus yeah I actually turned on the the fridge just because you wanted to put the cream away. Yeah, from keeping the cream cold to heating, the, getting the water, heating the water, everything. We just made coffee in our bus. That was pretty cool. It's so exciting to me. It is to the me too. The little <laughs> things are the big things. They are. It's these moments. <laughs> these moments where you, you pass some like landmark. Yeah. And, and, now, and you're like, oh my gosh, this is real. Like if you want to take this next level, when we're done, we can wash we can wash these and things. use our new dish rack you guys probably saw this little dude on the video here our little coffee grinder that we use and we actually use this when we make coffee I make these and uh, if you're interested they're gonna be up on our Etsy store which will be our little link will be down in the description if you want to help help us build this bus go to the Etsy store buy one of these things or one of the things what Carrie's gonna be putting up there which are more awesome than this